welcome. I'm Coach Tanya here at Critical Bench and doing something a little fun, but very important, I think, for this video. I'm calling it Switch It Up. And these are, I'm going to give you four moves or four modifications that you can do to switch up your training to make it more back friendly. Now, having said that, if you're having serious back issues, if you've been in an accident, if you've injured yourself, you always want to get your doctor's thumbs up to say, yes, you can go back into the gym and also ask where you can start. Don't try to... For someone that is a serious lifter or has been lifting and working out heavily or intensely for a number of years, we always want to come back into the gym and pick up where we left off, which isn't always realistic, if at all. And trying to do that can actually cause a lot more harm than um, is necessary. So there's a way to avoid that without giving up your favorite moves or lifts and working yourself back up to your strength bar much more quickly. So I'm going to take four moves. I'm going to give you an idea of how to switch it up to help alleviate some pressure strain on your back that's still going to let you get, these work, get your workouts in, get these exercises done safely and effectively for you. So um, a few things before I start that. What you want to do is a few key things to keep in mind is that in any, any time when you're training, especially when you're lifting and throwing around some heavy weights, you always want to make sure you don't have this rounded back thing happening, okay? If you have a tendency to do that, get somebody to watch you or spot you or even set up your phone and film yourself so that you can actually get a look at, are you standing straight? Are your hips squares or any unnecessary extra twisting or compensating that you're doing? Work on getting rid of that. You also want to make sure about twisting at the lower back if you do have a back injury. So there are certain moves and exercises that you may just have to cut out of your training protocol for a while until you build that strength back up okay and as well as you know not making sure you're not rounding your back you also want to make sure you're not arching and getting that that sway back because that's not good either that usually means that you're lifting too heavy or you're pushing it too far now your you know your body and your back particularly are exhausted and it's compensating and that's just gonna hurt you so just three tips right there things you want to avoid now the first exercise or what you what I should point out is I've got the bar we're I'm gonna be using the bar here I've got a band um, because that's what I have access to. You also, what you're gonna see when I get to that is if you have cables, if you're at the gym or even if you have a cable system at home, you can use cables. A dumbbell and a kettlebell. Now, um, coincidentally enough, I woke up with a really tight back this morning. I do tend to have back issues. So this was a, this was a great video for me to do today. And I'm working with really light weight because I'm also feeling a little under the weather. And I just wanna be careful how much I'm pushing it. So the first, the first switch it up I want to show you is for dumbbell rows. Now when you have a sore back, bending over and just doing rows or even like a three-point stance isn't necessarily bad, but if your back's hurting you, there's a better way to modify this exercise to make just to ensure that your hips are square, okay? And you're not putting any extra pressure or possibly swaying or arching your back. So you want to get on a bench or something that's solid and stable and you're gonna kneel. Now in this position, this is just gonna help reinforce and make sure that your hips are square over your knees. And you're gonna row exactly the same. Place your hand where it's comfortable. You're just gonna do your rows. Just like that. Now again, that's just gonna make sure that your hips are more square over your knees. There's not any extra, it, it kind of, reduces the possibility of you adding extra unnecessary back movements that are going to hurt you. Now, as far as sets and reps, depending where you're at with your training, you may be able to keep it the same. So if you're someone that's cranking out 15 reps and you're doing four sets and you can still do that, that's great. But if because of your back pain, you've had to cut back, maybe you're doing 10 reps for three rounds, again, that's okay. Just work that modification into your rows the, the best way it fits into your program. Now the next one is squats because we all love squats, right? Now, the thing I will say about squats, and you can do this next, we're gonna do a goblet squat. So I grabbed the kettlebell, but you can use um, a dumbbell if you want to. Now the thing with squats is I love them. So they're, all, they're always in my program, even when my back is sore, but I do make a lot, of, a lot of changes, a lot of modifications, depending on what my back's feeling like that day or that week. Now, 
when somebody new walks into the gym, a goblet squat is actually a great intro into that because it's one way to slow the movement down, to put the load in the front of you to help keep your torso more upright as opposed to doing this. So it's a great starter squat movement, but it's also fantastic when you have back pain or you're rehabilitating from some back pain. So I'm just gonna hold the kettlebell like this. I like to do a sumo stance. Okay, and you're just gonna do nice and deep, coming up, and that just keeps my torso, because the weight is in the front. So that helps keep my torso straight, my back straight. I squeeze at the top. <clears throat> okay, and again, depending where you're at, uh, you might still be doing full reps, reps and sets, or you may have had to reduce that because of your back pain. So fit that in with the number of sets and reps that you are doing and working towards. Now the next one is actually called a cable pull through, but I'm gonna use the bands only because it's so dark in the corner where we have the cable machine, it's almost impossible to film it there. But when you see me do this, you're gonna see how you can do this with your cables. So I just got my giant band looped around the rack here. I'm gonna come out so I've got that tension, okay? Now keeping your back straight, all right? If you step out and you find you're doing this, you need to back it up a little bit, okay? The band's job is to try to pull you back your job is to make sure that doesn't happen. So feet wide, a little more than shoulder width apart, straight back, hinging at the hips, okay, and then pulling up through and squeezing those glutes. And don't overextend, just coming up to straight, bending through, I can actually come a little more. I could actually probably go to a stronger band, but just like that. So if you had the cable machine, you would have the handle attachment, you'd have your weights set, and you would do the same thing. Lift up and squeeze those glutes. Okay, we wanna keep that posterior chain nice and strong because that's gonna help support strong core and protect our spine. Just like that. Okay, right, good job. The next switch it up is a way for you to incorporate shoulder press um, rather than doing a standing one or even a sitting one because sometimes sitting especially if you're someone that can lift a lot of weight, you can start to do this. Using the bar and doing a scrape of the rack press actually helps you to keep your back more straight and avoid that arching because it forces you to apply pressure and you know scrape the bar along the rack. So it helps to keep you from, from arching your back. Again, you always wanna have somebody watching you just in case, but I'll show you what this looks like. Do a few reps, so underneath it. And the whole, get it, even the whole way up and down, I'm pushing the bar against the rack. Pushing up. Keeping that core really tight too. There we go. So just a really, really great switch um, to keep your those bigger shoulder movements into your workout and also protect your back and keep it safe while doing it. So again, you're gonna probably, I would, if you've never done the straight the rack before, you might try it no matter how strong or tough you are. <laughs> try it first with just the bar. I know the first time I did it, it felt a little awkward. I had to get used to how close to the bar, where to, you know, how far were my knees, um, just to feel comfortable with it. But once I got the hang of it, um, it certainly makes a big difference, particularly if you got that lower back strain, it's shoulder day, you really wanna do those presses because we know how effective the presses are, but doing a press with dumbbells or standing with a barbell can just, you know, causes that arch. This is a really great way to get those, uh, those presses in and not hurt yourself. Hey, thanks for sticking with me today. Now, if you enjoyed those movements and you are somebody that tends to have back pain or you struggle with it from time to time or even a lot, I want you to check out that pinned comment below. This is a free report, 15 isometric exercises that you must be doing. So these are all body weight. They're really great for helping to build that core strength, which we all know stronger core means less reduced back pain. So you wanna check that out, put in your email and you'll have that right away. Now, those were just four movements. There's a lot of other ways to modify and adapt your lifts. 
to help reduce any pain and strain on your lower back. Always check with your doctor first though. Always check with your doctor first because it's really tempting to go right back to the gym and be like, I wanna start benching 300 pounds and all of these great things that you used to be able to do. But the goal is to get back to that without causing further damage that keeps you out of the gym longer. So hopefully these helped. Please check out our um, YouTube channel for tons more free content that can help you adapt, modify, and switch up your training to accommodate any injury or rehabilitating you might be going through. I'm Coach Tanya with Critical Bench. Thank you so much for joining me today. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up if you like it. And as always, check that notification button and the little bell so you never miss any of our great video content. Take care, be well, have an awesome day.